Hey guys, how you doing? And welcome back to a new episode of the Road to Legacy, where we are currently sat with Real Madrid, um, our second team in this series. So we're here for a season before we move onwards and go find another club. Now, if you've been wondering where I've been for the past week, more or less, I do apologise. I've got, I've, I've said it so many times, but I've got so much going off in my life right now. Uh, but it's on its way up. That's all I'm going to say. It's on its way up. I've just got a new job. And I'm hoping to focus a lot more on my YouTube. Um, I'd love to. And hopefully be live streaming. I'm hopefully going to live stream for a little bit today, which is Saturday, me recording this. So if you were here, if you're in the live stream, brilliant. It'll be uploaded on the channel anyway. But this will get uploaded on Monday. The Road to Glory will return. Um, but I don't know when. I've just got to find the time. And the new series will also start pretty soon as well. But guys, if you're new to the channel, new to me, welcome to my channel. I'm a FIFA YouTuber. I upload videos as often as I can. I like to say daily, but it's not quite daily at the minute. Um, but here we are, Real Madrid. We're going to play the second leg of, leg of the Super Copper Cup. Love that saying. And yeah, we're going to see if we can beat Barcelona and get our first out of four trophies this season, which is the aim. And then hopefully bring in some new players. Now, I've got your comments up here from the last video. I'll read them out after the game. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to go into this game against FC Barcelona at the Bernabeu. Um... Well, it's not. It's the El Liberatador because they don't have the burn about in this game. Um, but yeah, this is the team we're going to take. I mean, I'm having luck here. Is there anything I want to change? Do I want to... You know what? I'm going to give this game, this team a run-in. Um, do I give Lunin? No, because we got, don't want to give Lunin because i got Donnarumma. This is the team we're going to take. Obviously, we're going to be improving this. I mean, there's some people in here um, that want me to bring in a new midfielder. I need a new defender. I need a new right back. I need a new striker. There's a lot of things I need to do with this team, but we are focusing on our first trophy. We are currently got a lead of 2-1 on aggregate over Barcelona. So we're going to see how we get on. We need to get a goal. And I think we can do it. But this is team ultimate difficulty. Five minutes each way. I'll see you in the game. And hopefully we will be lifting this trophy. So then guys, here we are. The Super Copper Cup. And it's the final. The chance to win our first bit of silverware. And you know what? I think we're more than capable of doing it. we just got to get a goal. If we find a goal nice and early, it will make life so much easier for us as a team. And we can just relax a bit more. It's only a 2-1 lead. I don't know whether away goals is a thing in the Super Copper Cup. I imagine it is. Um, so it's going to be something we're going to have to think about. So finding a goal is key. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this gameplay. But what I do usually is I just show, show you the highlights. But I haven't played in a while. So bear with me as Isco goes and finds Asensio here. Asensio goes for the Berber spin. Does not work. Can we get this ball? No. To Stig is going to get there. But yeah, guys, what I'll do is I'll show you the highlights like I always do. And really quickly, if you play Fortnite and you want to support a creator, I know I don't play Fortnite, but I have a creator code. Um, it is in the description down below. It is JoshuaOB21. So J O S H W A O B21. If you play Fortnite, Stick the item code in the shop and you'll be helping me out. But yeah, guys, um, a bit of a random one that is. But it's happened as they're on the attack here. It's Cortinho's on the ball. Cortinho gets that ball into Cardona. Cardona goes into Messi. And what a save by Dan Haluma. The guy we bought with us from AC Milan has just gone and saved us there. It's still nil-nil. They whip it in. They're going out to Umtiti. Umtiti with a strike. And he's just smacked the crossbar, guys. Not the best start to the game, but what a strike by Umtiti that was. It is still nil-nil. We have a 2-1 lead, but we need to re we need to concentrate. Isco into Milik. Milik sees um, Kovacic. Kovacic goes out to Alex Tellez here. Now, Alex Tellez signed in this season. What can he do? Alex Tellez, can he find the other new signing of Eden Hazard? Yes, he can. Hazard's on the ball here. Hazard, fake shot, holds it back. He's on it. He's still got it. Goes into... Isco, Isco with the finish, Isco with the goal, we get the 1-0 lead here, and this is just what we needed to, Needed straight off the bat, Barcelona have been the better team to start with, it's a brilliant finish though by Isco, bends it round to Stegen, Hazard did it. What did what he could, and it's now 3-1, we got the away goal which is what we wanted, 3-1 on aggregate, 1-0 on the night, could this be our first silverware, I hope it could be. Here they come though, Coutinho. Oh no, it's good sending me. Send me the wrong way there, Coutinho. Coutinho's on the ball. What can Coutinho do? In real life, he's not. He's out of favour at Barcelona, but he seems to be doing alright right now. They're still on it. Jordi Alba goes into Artur. Artur into Gomez. Gomez goes into Thiago. Thiago to the Messiah. The Messiah gets... What a tackle! Alex Tellez! What a tackle that was by the man! 
Oh my days. The Brazilian we bought in. And now we get to go on the counter attack as we get, get it in here with Asensio. Asensio just hold this up. Goes into Isco. Isco tries to find Kovacic. But what defending by Tellez. We've wasted the counter attack. And oh my days. He's already made his money up with that tackle on Messi. Messi should have done better. But he's on the ball here. Can he get his vengeance as Messi's on it? What can Messi do? Messi gets it into Palencia. Palencia, is he going to whip it in? Palencia whips it in. Get that ball away, Donnarumma. Second ball. Oh, no, they've still got it. We've got two minutes left of this half. We'll stick with this. Stick with it to the end of this half. As Messi gets a shot off. Donnarumma with a save. Oh, my God, Alex Tellez. Alex flipping Tellez. Thank you very much, my man. But we go into the second half at half time. 1-0 up on the day. 3-1 up on aggregate. And we have been saved by two brilliant, two brilliant plays. Barcelona have been the better team, I'm not going to lie, but we are going to make a change. Isco's going to come off. Um, and I'm actually going to play Asensio, I think, in that midfield position. Um, says he can't do it, but he's just not got enough pace for me. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring on... Do we bring on Junior? We bring on Junior. We bring on Junior. Of course we bring on Junior. Who can play on that right wing position? We give him a nod. We jump into the second half. Can we find a second? I hope so. Kante's on the ball here, goes into Kovacic, Kovacic, goes a nice little step over, manages to find Milik here, Milik hold it up, Milik can't hold it, oh my flip's sake Milik, but here they go, Cadona goes into the Messiah, they've got to come on the attack the second half, um, Barcelona have, because they are 2-0, two, two goals behind in aggregate, they haven't got the away goal advantage if that is a thing in the Supercopper Cup, they got to score two to at least take it to extra time as Cortina goes into Jordi Alba, back into Jordi Alba, can we win this header here, yes we can, and now, can we get the second ball? No, we can't. They've still got it here. Andre Gomez goes into Thiago. Thiago manages to... I mean, I don't know how we manage that one, but it's into Coutinho now. Coutinho, can we get that ball? Yes, we can. Vinicius, thank you very much. Now it's our turn. Milik into Asensio. Back into Milik. Goes into Vinicius. Vinicius with a bit of pace here. What can he do? Cuts inside. Goes into Hakimi. Hakimi. Hakimi, whip it in. Whip it in. Back post. Back post, Asensio, you've got to be scoring from there. But it's a good start. Well done by Testegen there to get a hand to it. But oh my days, we've got to be scoring that. Here we go. We're just passing the ball here. Nice little triangles. Milik into Asensio. Asensio into Hakimi here. Hakimi finds Vinicius Jr. somehow, but we managed to find um, Milik. Milik sees Vinicius. Vinicius sees Hazard. Hazard into Kovacic. Kovacic has found the goal. And there we go. The former Chelsea guys. He was on loan at Chelsea. Remember that. He was at loan. And that's all started from just keeping the ball. Kovacic has gone and found us the second goal of the game. Which is what we needed. And it's just sort of sort of helped us out. It sort of calmed the nerves a little bit. It's 2-0 on the night. It's 4-1 on aggregate. This will be one out of four trophies. And that is what we wanted to do. We've come here to win everything and keep it going. But we we just need to keep this going now. Like I said, guys, we just need to focus up. Keep a clean sheet. Will make life a lot easier for me. But they're on the ball here. As Summer Dembele's on it. Sends Hakimi the wrong way. Whips it in. Donnarumma's there, luckily. And we're all good. But we just need to relax. Messi's on the ball here for Barcelona. Barcelona are on the ball. But Kante's there. Kante, the man. And now, oh, can we? We can't. Jordi Alba just reads that perfectly as a tour. Goes into Andre Gomez. Andre Gomez into Messiah. With Messiah into Abel Ruiz, who's come on. We need to make sub, but it's gone into Messi here. What can Messi do? He goes for the chip. And Messi has gone and found the back of the net. And you cannot give this guy a chance. We cannot give the Messiah that sort of space. And this is not nice to see. Uh, Messi has gone and found the back of the net. It's 2-1 on the night. 4-2 on aggregate. It's time to make some changes. It's time to make a substitution. And I'm trying to think here. Who do I want to bring on? And we're going to bring on Caballeros. And we're going to bring off Asensio. Caballeros is going to come into that midfield. See what he does. The 86 rated player. See if he can do anything and help us out. I think he can. But it is 2-1 on the night. 4-1 on aggregate. What can we do? Can we find a goal really straight away here? As we're on the ball here with Vinicius. Vinicius still on it. As Vinicius goes into Kovacic. Kovacic goes into Milik. Milik. Milik goes into Kante. Kante with the strike. And go low Kante with the strike. Oh my days. And go low Kante. The man who covers more of the planet. Then there is water on the planet. Has just gone and fired us into the lead. It's 3-1. What a strike. What a retaliation. 
Oh my days. Angolo Kante, take a bow, my man. You've come and joined me from AC. You have given, proven to me that you're worth every penny at both teams. What a strike. It's 5-2. And I don't think this can get any better, guys. Tellez, what can you do? Sees, oh, no one. Oh, he wins that back, Tellez does. Goes into Kante, Kante into Caballeros. Caballeros sees Vinicius. Vinicius, what a save by Ter Stegen. It's time to make another substitution, by the way. We're going to bring off Milik and Hazard is going to go up top. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually bring on Barimi. Bah, Barimi, the former Manchester City youngster, is going to come on. And Ter Stegen's just gone and saved it for um, Barcelona there. But we're going to whip this one in with Hazard. Hazard. I mean, can we get there? No, we can't. It goes into Kovacic. Kovacic into Tellez. Tellez. Need to help. Sees Varane. Varane. Can we cover? We can't. That's poor. That's poor. That's poor. But it's a brilliant start. And we get the ball back actually here with Hakimi. Hakimi into Barimi. Barimi into Vinicius. Vinicius into Caballeros. Caballos, sorry. Caballos. Fake shot. Cuts back. Sees Vin Vinicius. Vinicius with a strike. And I've just pressed the wrong button again. I, I pressed the wrong button. But that was my goal. I shot before it happened. It's 4-1, and let me just prove something here, guys. We have no, no sliders in. No sliders. I'm not about that sort of life. Like, there's no sliders involved at all. We are 4-1. Yes, I keep pressing that button. I need to disable it if there is a way to disable it. But it's 4-1, and we have just absolutely destroyed Barcelona. And I feel for them because they've been the better team. I can't take it away from them. But it's 6-2 on aggregate, 4-1 on the night. Oh, my days. Here, Artur goes into Abel Ruiz. Back into Artur. Can, oh, he does a nice little bit of skill. What a strike. Artur has just gone and made it 4-2. Well played by him. He's, that's actually, that's actually a brilliant goal. You can't, you can't take it away from the young Brazilian. I mean, he went, look at this. He megs um, Rafa Varane there. Megs Varane there. And then he managed to get past the diving tackle of Manolas. And it's a brilliant finish. It's 4-2 on the night. 6-3 on aggregate. I'm not moaning. We've won this game, and we did, and it, we it's not been deserved, but we have. As Vinicius Junior has gone to our tour, whatever you can do, I can do better. As we go into Hazard here, Hazard sees Vinicius. Vinicius still on board. Sees Hazard. Hazard with the strike. Can we get the second? No, we can't. And there we go, guys. It's got to be full time. To Stegen will kick this ball. It will be full time. We will get our first bit of silverware, and this has made me so happy. What a game! What a victory! We're going to watch us lift this trophy. And yeah, guys, what a performance. So then, guys, here he is, Rafa Varane, the guy that wanted to leave when I first came in. But I gave him the armband, said, give me a chance with you, Varane. I'll give you everything. And he's given me that chance. And there we go. The Frenchman has left the cup, the Super Cup, the Cup. Um, my favourite saying in the whole world at the minute. Um, Rafa Varane, brilliant performance by him. Brilliant performance by the team. Say Barcelona were the better team in my eyes. It's a brilliant performance by the lads. It's our first trophy of four. We got three more to win, so we got the league, the cup, the Spanish cup, and then we have the Champions League. So fingers crossed, can win all three. But guys, what we'll do now is watch the team take the squad photo, and then we'll go on to your guys' comments. We'll make some changes to this team, and we'll simulate the first game of the season. But this team is just fantastic, guys. I will see you when we're gonna be looking at bringing in some new players. So then guys, this is the time where we look at your guys' comments from the last video, uh, which was the El Clasico final, which was the first leg of the Super Cup Cup. But here we go. Um, DSD plays, you've commented, what a comeback, awesome vid yet again. What about Higuain? Now Higuain's a good shout, to be fair. Let's go and have a quick look and see what rating he is currently. Um, let's go and have a look, because the one I was looking at was um, Lukaku, isn't it? Hig Let's, where is he? Where is he? Gonzalo Higuain. He's 32. This is my only issue here. 32. He's 85 rated. I'm not going to go for Higuain at this current age. Um, unfortunately. But thank you for the comment, mate. It's much appreciated. Thank you for the constant support. If you haven't subbed to him already, go check out DSC Plays. He's a top um, FIFA mobile YouTuber. Go check him out. He's an awesome lad. Um, but then let's move on to probably the most common person on this channel, channel Maddie. Maddie, man, your glasses look class. You look classy in them. Thank you very much. I got to keep wearing them. Um, Danny Sebeos, Sebeos is how you've told me to pronounce it, so I will remember. Um, but Millet can be a good backup. Yes, he can, so we'll keep hold of that. Also, Lorente is good backup for Kente. I'll keep hold of that. We have a second midfield option, Caballeros, Lorente, Fado Valverde. They're the three players I'm going to keep hold of, which is fine. And then you said Lukaku should be good. Centre-back, um, Koulibaly, Jimenez, Bailly, Manolas will be our backup. I like the sound of um, the Jimenez one and the Bailly one. I like those two. And then no name 
has also put subbed one of DFD's DSD's new subs. Thank you very much for hitting me up with a subscribe, guys. If you're new to the channel and you want to hit subscribe, hit it up. Hit it up for the content if you're enjoying it. Um, I always read out comments at some point during the video. So if you like that element, I always communicate with you guys. It's just what I do. Now, here we go. This is the one I'm going to accept. Romel Lukaku, welcome to the team, my friend. You are going to be our new striker. It was accepted by you guys. Lukaku is going to come in. He's going to be playing up front, which is what I like to see. We get some extra prize money there. Not much at all. Um, but there we go. So we have a new striker. Lukaku has come and joined us. Brilliant. But it's now time to sort out the centre-back position. And it's one which I've had a look at. I've had a look at your comments. And I think I've shortlisted a few of them. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So we have Jimenez. I have Kim Pembe on there. I have Delict. Kula Bali, who's actually not a bad shout, actually. 91 rated. But I like the look of Jimenez, which is what you've said, and Bailly. But I'm looking here. So from this list here, I'm going to get rid of Kim Pembe. Kim Pembe is going to be removed from shortlist. Kula Bali, how much are you going to cost me? I mean, we, we might be able to... 50, so it's going to cost me 58 to 80. So it's going to cost me about 80 million. Okay. He's going to cost me about 70 million, Mateus Delit, but I use him everywhere, so I'm not going to use him. Skrinia is going to cost me about 80 million. Jimenez is going to cost me about 70. Now, I'm going to go for Jimenez because, Maddie, you have recommended Jimenez. He's linked to Real Madrid in real life, so we're going to go in for Jimenez. He's at Arsenal. Arsenal have Kimpembe, so they may be a bit more lenient about selling this guy. I mean, it'll be a brilliant signing. He's young. We can train him up. He'll come in and he'll start alongside Rafael Varane. So we're going to offer a transfer fee. I'll give you give you 55 million. And we'll give you a sell-on clause of 15%. Let's see what you say to that, Arsenal. If you say yes to that, it will allow us a bit more money to bring in someone else. They want 72 and 5%. Okay, that's not bad. But I think we can cut you down to 62. And add, take that up to 13%. 62.8, 13%. 72, they're stuck on 72. Come on. Meet me at 70. Meet me at 70 you got a deal. you got a deal. you got a deal, Arsenal, at 70 million. There we go. 70 million for a centre-back. I mean, it's a lot of money. It really is a lot of money. But I think it's going to be worth it. He's currently on 135 grand a week. Let's delegate this. Let's cut that down to 150. Let's see what we can do there. Because Akali's not going to be joining us. Um... But I think we also need a right back. And this is a guy I'm looking at. The team will not be negotiating directly. He's got a release clause of 60 million. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what um, happens with Jimenez. See if we sell anyone else. And what we'll do from there on is possibly bring in Trent Alexander-Arnold. But then again, do I need him? Because do I need Trent Alexander-Arnold really? Because Ordezola will be back soon. He will come in. Trent will just drop to the bench. So there's no point in bringing him in. We've got a new striker. I'm just trying to think now, guys. I'm just trying to think. We've got a new striker. Lukaku can come on up top. Um, and we'll drop Barimi to the um, reserves. And I just don't know what to do now. Do we need another midfielder? We've got Valverde and Cavalier. We've got a lot of midfielders. We don't need another midfielder. We've got Lorente as well on the bench. We could do with a backup. Defend no, we got Manalas. If we it's confusing, guys. I'm gonna have a think about it, see what I can do. We might not bring anyone else in from here on in, and we may actually just wait until January. But what I'm gonna do is simulate forward, wait until something comes through, and fingers crossed, we can have a new release called plays for Gonzalez. Yeah, he can go. Sorry, he can go. Akali, you're not gonna be part of this club, my friend. We're gonna reject that one. Um, but yeah, what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna hold off, simulate forward, and see if Jimenez will join us. So then, guys, in the, in the mean and between time, we have a transfer offer here for Manolas. I'm not selling Manolas. Um, I'm going to reject that one. He's going to be my backup. He's going to be he's going to be constantly rotated um, into the team. Meanwhile, Diego Altub, um, he can go. But yeah, Manolas, even though we're bringing in someone new, he's still going to be a vital part of this team. He's going to be in and out of the team um, in cup games when players are getting tired. He's just going to be that guy. He just is. He's, we need him as part of this team. As there we go, Jimenez is going to come and join us. He's only important. So he's going to come and join us. He's going to be the fifth new signing. I mean, look at these signings we have made. It's a phenomenal... Well, he's actually the sip because Donnarumma as well. So six signings. 
we have made since being here. We currently have in the bank 65 million. We could go and get Trent Alexander Arnold. I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below. Do I go for someone like Trent Alexander Arnold? Or do we just let him be and we stick with this team as we're actually going to bring Manlas off the, off the starting team? We're going to start Jimenez. And that is good. This is just going to be the team. This team is just. I mean, we also have Tagowski, which is a weird one because I didn't bring him in. Um, and I don't know why they did. But this team is just looking phenomenal. Um, it's looking super strong at the end of the day. And it's. It's getting to that level of AC Milan level. Are we going to go unbeatable this season? Who knows? But we have the first game of the season, which we are going to simulate. Is that home against Villarreal? We'll see how we get on. We need to add kit numbers. Let me know in the comments down below. Kit numbers as well, guys. I am going to put Donnarumma to 99, so do not worry about that one. Um, but let me know about kit numbers for the team, for the players. Um, let me know what you want me to give them, and we'll do it. But this is the first game of the season. Real Madrid against Villarreal. So tough game. It's not going to be easy. Villarreal are one of those um, sort of high mid-tier teams. Always used to make it in Europe. Uh, but we need to get a nice win here. As Isco has gone and found the first goal for us. Which is brilliant. First goal of the season goes to Isco. Um, we're hit 45 minutes in. What I want to be able to do in FIFA 20 is be able to make subs in this. Um, as Asensio, 3-0. I mean, what I'd love to do in simulations is have a bit more freedom. Like I can pause the game. Go change formation, make a couple substitutions. That would just make this game so much better. Make career mode so much better. But we get a 3-0 win. First game of the season. Couldn't ask for much more. No injuries. No nothing. We have some money to spend. That is all I'm going to say. But what we're going to do here is we're actually going to mix this one up. But Remy's going to actually be taken off here. And we're going to give Jimenez a little bit of training um, there. And also, we're going to work on Jimenez's passing because I want his passing. Um, I mean, shoot, I don't know why. Oh, suggested. Does he need that? Yeah, he needs that. Let's get that up. Let's get his ball control up. And this is, they're the players we, we're trading at the minute. Do you want me to bring in Trent Alexander Arnold? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you want me to bring in someone else or do you want me to just wait now until January? Let me know in the comments. I will upload tomorrow, um, which will be Tuesday. Whether it will be this or my live stream, if I live stream, who knows. But guys, I hope you have an awesome day. I hope you've enjoyed the career mode. If you're new, hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below, guys. And also, if you do play Fortnite, I mean, I know it's weird me saying this being a FIFA YouTuber, but if you do like Fortnite and you want to support me as a creator, use the code... Um, support creator code Joshua O B, so J O S H W A O B two one in the item shop and help me out, guys. Um, but yeah, hope you have an awesome day and an awesome week, guys. And I will see you tomorrow, fingers crossed, with some more Road to Legacy. But yeah, guys, have an awesome day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.